Good morning everyone and welcome back to this another book opening. This came in around two days ago about called Draw What You Love. It's sort of the second book by the artist um, Simone Gruenwald, if I pronounce it correctly. And uh, I got sort of this third tier that came with the mini art book that shows a bunch of more detailed like tutorials of um, her process of making her artwork which is very informative again this is um, by the publisher 3d total publishing and we will be comparing with the other book the first book called sketch every day and then that i'd really love the title uh, change of sketch every day into draw what you love and not exactly the change but the progression so this is sort of a book style about sort of as it says sketch every day and there's like a lot of great information about how to sort of sketch every day and maybe a more beginner process of um, drawing but we'll get into that a little bit later but for now I'll put this back into the slipcase and we'll look at the slipcase a little bit later. But for now, um, a few extra stuff that came in is also this that looks to be like a bookmark. Very nice. And then a couple of postcards. So now for the bookmark itself, it is a little bit unfortunate because the packaging is amazing as always. But the way that the packaging came in, especially for maybe slipcase people, is that it came in like this. So the book is, is already inside the slipcase. And unfortunately, if you see over here, the there's like a large tear mark. And if you look at the other side, it's not as teared. Now, it might be something where it might be hard to believe that, oh, this happens after I open it, but do do sort of believe that this is as I open it exactly now what happened is that even though the packaging is great there's still a little bit wiggle room in between the outer packaging around this so I believe that as the shipment is moved around this book can still slide back and forth and over time it hit this bottom part and then it sadly got torn and it's sort of understandable since this part is sort of quite sharp as any sort of hard book cover um, is designed you know it is what it is i'm not too sort of upset about it because it's just a slip case and then when you put it on your bookshelf in the end it's just gonna basically look like this so i'm just sort of reporting as i sort of got it right but in the end your bookshelf will look like this no one's gonna see the back side anyways i don't expect anyone to put your bookshelf like this like you can't take out the book unless you're gonna have to take out the whole slip case out no just you leave it like this and then you take out the book that you need and that's that's about it right so i'm not i'm not too sort of upset about it but it's just a little bit unfortunate but with that case like out of all the 3d publishing slip cases this is certainly not the worst one there's like a couple others that feels a little bit cheaper but it's certainly not the best or strongest slip case that i've seen from maybe 3d total as well and maybe from other um, publications that certainly have made stronger slip cases that I feel wouldn't break as easily. But <clears throat> enough of that. Let's go look at the positive as well. The slip case designs from both front and back is very nice. Custom sort of images placed on both sides. Though no title, once again, is on the back side, which feels like no one's going to see it. So I feel like maybe one side could have the title. I'm not sure, or because they did the title on here, sketch every day and draw what you like, then one side will be draw what you like, and the other side is sketch every day. But regardless, very nice to see sort of custom artworks on each side, which I feel other slip cases, to my memory, might not have it. But let's take a look at the book itself. So as I said, um, in first impression, it feels like the draw everyday sketchbook it will be a book 
mainly for people who want to learn drawing and sketching, since line work may come as a priority to most new artists. So there's like artist advice as the main topic first, and then art fundamentals, lighting, shading, all of the good fundamental topics to look out for, and then character design ideas. And then lastly will be family life. And then one of the bookmarks that I say for myself would be is finding your style since it's something I certainly struggle with and I find it to have a lot of great information. But as for the next book that I would like to also check out will be also character design first. So let me just open the page and leave it open to be able to just compare. So artist advice is certainly much shorter. Um, in the original book, artist advice goes up to page 54, while artist advice in the second book goes up to 34. And then we go into character design right away and skip all of the fundamentals that the first book have sort of gone through already. And then if we look at the character design comparison, then we start off with the anatomy and then profile, facial volume, aging. While here in the first book, we have making faces all in the eyes, follow your nose. So looking at here based on the table of contents, it seems to look like um, a little bit more specific in certain steps for sketching. And then the other one, there's maybe more general poses and maybe a higher level of skill. I, I don't want to like look into detail, but this is just what the table of contents is looking like. Well, this one goes into character design. The second book goes into backgrounds, which seems based on the table of contents, does not um, touch upon, and then goes back into lighting. So I suppose this will be... Uh, higher level compared to the first book, lighting plus shading, which is only like one page, 58 to 60. This is a whole section about lighting, which is also very important as well. And then digital techniques, which is again, like a next level from the first book. So it does sort of show from just looking at the table of contents here is that if somebody is starting out and it's not exactly my recommendation, of course, since I'm learning myself, but based on the table of the content, it does seem like if someone wants to learn drawing for the first time, the Sketch Everyday book will be for them. And then someone maybe a little bit more advanced would then prefer to the, just pick up the Draw What You Love book instead. But let's take a quick look about the lighting since looking at the two, I want to sort of see and compare. So we will go to page 112. Under 10, 112. But first off, let's also see the lighting page for this book. Lighting and shade, 58. So this would be what it looks like, lighting and shading. So this is something that maybe would be for sketching and just very simple ideas of where the shading would go under the shin, edge lighting, light plus shadows. Okay. And then taking a look here, lighting. And just from the first page right here, this is like a more digital sort of explanation. The previous one, sketching like a sketchbook, traditional drawing, pencil and paper, maybe ink drawing as well, um, but pencil and paper. Is what I feel like when looking at that page. So this book, as I sort of suspect, does have like a more um, digital drawing um, tutorial explanation going on here, which is also very good to see. Lighting is sort of like a whole other sort of world of <laughs> technique um, that it's sort of hard to do. Like sketching is hard enough and then the next thing to do is then color. It's like, oh wow, that's just like a whole project on its own. 
and that is lighting. Well, that will be all that I would sort of want to share with these books. And let me know what you think with this sort of setup as well. And hopefully I will see you all next time. Bye for now.